Beyond Meat, one of the two big companies still pushing plant-based meat alternatives, hasn't been having the best time of it lately, especially financially. What likely won't make life easier for the fake meat makers is the reported state of one of its major East Coast packaging plants. Bloomberg reported, based on leaked images and documents from an ex-employee, that one of the company's packaging plants in Pennsylvania had pretty rough conditions, though. Rough might be a generous term for mold being found on walls and containers. There's even a picture of a large trolley cart sticking out the funnel of a large mixer. By the way, that's not supposed to be there. The report also mentioned internal documents that show there's been instances of a bacteria called Listeria found inside the food itself. The bacteria can cause pretty severe food poisoning when it's left in uncooked food, though it's unclear if any contaminated food made it out to consumers. Oh, but that's not all. Documents also show some packaged products did contain foreign contaminants, stuff like string, wood, or plastics. Costco in Canada did recall some of its Beyond Meat products last year after finding wood in some of its product packaging. Though, to be clear, we don't know where Costco sourced its Beyond Meat from. The company bought the plant from an old partner back in 2020 as it was expanding its reach into the US and other global markets. The company told us the state inspections from March and September this year found they were all in compliance, though the latest inspection was limited, according to Pennsylvania's Agricultural Department. Beyond Meat has been struggling as of late, even compared to the likes of its main competitor, Impossible. The company had to lay off a fifth of its whole workforce last month amid sliding revenues. Last year, the company was thinking of adding raw production to the Pennsylvania plant, though they paused those plans after these latest setbacks. I mean, I've never had a problem with plant-based meat. Have you tried fake chicken nuggets? They're really not that bad. But you have a lot of reactionaries trying to paint plant-based meat as part of the ongoing culture wars. Cracker Barrel fans told the restaurant chain on Facebook, go woke, go broke, when they introduced new impossible sausage to the menu. Poor conditions at packaging plants probably won't do anything to help plant-based meat's image. The FDA recently gave the green light for lab-grown meat, so while we all wait for real, fake hamburgers to hit the market, I may need some help picking wood chips out of my hamburgers. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out other Gizmodo videos here on YouTube.